Good morning, everyone. Now, I know that many of you are very, very angry at the banks because of tar. I know that many of you say we should never have bailed them out. It's not the government's job to bail out the banking system. Okay, I understand that, and I'm sure that you and I have some disagreements about TARP. You've seen it on our program. The judge is on one side of the issue and I'm on the other. Okay, that being said, do you really think that the banks should have been forced to pay out $135 billion in fines and settlements so far from the crash? Do you really think that the entire blame for the, uh, the misery of 2008 should be laid solely at the feet of Wall Street and the banks? Are they solely responsible? Is the blame all theirs? Has it nothing to do with politicians, regulators, the Federal Reserve, cheap money, easy money? Has it nothing to do with them at all? No, says the Obama administration. It's all about the banks. They are the bad guys. Make them pay. We'll have a lot today on this $13 billion settlement that J.P. Morgan has been strong-armed, shaken down into accepting. And by the way, they're not off the hook for any criminal charges either. Also, $6 billion is what they want out of Bank of America. B of A has already paid $40 billion. They want another $6 billion. It goes on and on and on. It fits the narrative, doesn't it? All the blame is with the banks. Nothing to do with politicians whatsoever. No, it is all the banks. We bailed them out, now make them pay. Tax the rich. Do you really think we've got a functioning financial system, a dynamic capitalist society, when you're taking all the money out of the banks and making them take all of the blame for mistakes of five years ago by politicians and regulators? I find this incredible. But we'll have a lot more on it today. Okay? I do hope you can join us. We're starting off a very big week all over again. And by the way, stocks just want to go up. See you in three hours.